Today I'd like to show you how to finger a chromatic scale. A chromatic scale is all the black keys and all the white keys, everything from there to there, or every every note on the keyboard actually. A diatonic scale is where you have a row of whole steps and half steps, but a chromatic scale is all half steps. And the best way to finger it is, uh, well notice you've got long fingers and short fingers. Obviously your thumb is your shortest finger. And these are your longest fingers, so and that's your very longest finger. So it makes sense, since <clears throat> your thumb is out on the extra the white notes, to use your third finger on the black keys. So I'm going to use thumb, third, thumb, third, thumb. Now I can't. I've got two white keys in a row, so I'll use my second finger there. Then back to third, thumb, third, thumb, third, thumb, second finger. If I came back down, I'd just do the same. Thumb, third thumb, third, thumb, third, second, why, because we got two white keys in a row, third, thumb, third, thumb. To practice this, just take, you know, go from there to there, so you just do that. Notice how tight my third finger, my third finger is almost over my thumb, and it makes it very easy to move quickly. Or go from here to here. And then when you finally do that, by the way, when you end, when you end a scale, it doesn't matter what finger you use because, you know, you're done. But when you have more to play, then use your thumb and your third finger, except when there's two white keys together, well, you use your second finger. So now watch me play an octave. See that? Coming down. And that's all you need to know about chromatic scales and their fingering. See you tomorrow.